In Algebra 1, Section 7.4, we're dealing with factoring 8x squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, um, what we're doing is your book, there's like several uh, strategies that you can use. The difference between this and the last section is you can't use last section strategy because last section deals with x squared plus bx plus c. So a uh, quadratic equation without that a in front, which that a represents that there is a number besides one that's there. Okay? If there's a, just a one, then I can use last section. Because that we're dealing with numbers now, it makes it a little bit more complicated when we're, when we're multiplying it back out. So um, again, your book gives you several uh, methods, and some do a chart, some um, there's a strategy, but um, the one that carries over to most is the guess and check. Okay, or else you're going to be doing a lot of work, a lot of work, and essentially you're doing a guess and check too for some of the other strategies. So I'm going to teach you this way. It's, um, there's not a lot of memorization that goes with this method. That's why I like doing it. And basically what we're going to do is we have to, we're moving backwards. I'm trying to figure out, just like the last section, what two parentheses that when I multiply them out will give me this. Okay? Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take A and I'm going to factor it, okay? Because whatever ends up in A has to go in front of X. Remember last section, I had X, X, right? But now I have to have in numbers in front of the X in order to make X squared. The reason why the other section is easy is when I, if this is just X squared, then I can just leave these alone and multiply them out and automatically give me X squared. So let's look at 2. Well, there's only two factors of 2. 2 and... 1, okay, or 1 and 2. Now let's look at factors of C. So we have um, C is 21, so we have 7 and 3, we have 21 and 1, we have negative 3 and negative 7. I'm thinking that it's not going to be the bigger numbers. Um, it might, but I'm going to not start with bigger numbers. I'm not going to start with the negatives either because these are all positives. Um, I'll start with the negatives. If this middle number is a negative, chances are I'm dealing with negative numbers. If this is positive, I'm going to deal with um, positive numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, ch I'm going to look at my possibilities. I factored both A and C, and I'm going to look at my possibilities. So I'm going to look at 2 and 1, and I'm going to assign 2 and positive 1 here, okay? Then, I'm going to look at this number. I'm, again, I'm not going to try this. I will try, if, it, if, if this one doesn't work, um, then I'll try one of the other ones. But I have a feeling it has to do with 7 and 3. So let's just try positive 3, positive 7, okay? I'm going to multiply this out. Again, these are, this is just a guess. I'm going to multiply this out. If this doesn't work, then I might need to switch it, the 3 and 7, or the 2 and whichever. If it doesn't work, then I might need to change this out. If It's lucky that 2 only has one set, because if not, then I have to kind of play in, okay? And as you get more and more practice of this, you'll start seeing which ones will make sense and which ones won't. So um, it's, it's, it's an annoying, uh, annoying thing to do the guess and check, especially if you keep getting it wrong, keep getting it wrong. But as you get more practice, then you'll be able to understand what kind of numbers you're looking for and what you're using. Just like this whole negative thing and trying to stay away from big numbers, unless these are like in the hundreds, I'm going to stay away from them. So, um, uh, and you'll see what I mean during the practice. But for now, just try, try to come up again. The factor of A goes in front of the X. And this goes after x, okay? So I'm going to multiply this out, 2x times the whole second one, and then 3 times the whole second one. Please remember to um, show your work, okay? So 2x times x is 2x squared, so far so good. 2x times 7 is 14x, right? 3x, oh, positive 14, is uh, 3, what? This looks confusing. So 
sorry, positive 14x, and then three times, uh, positive three times x is positive three x, positive three is positive 21. So two x squared plus 17x plus 21. So, and it works. So in this case, your answer is gonna come here, and then you're gonna show your work to make sure that it works. You shouldn't be, on your test, this is great because then you know if you're getting it right or wrong. Um, Cause you can always, uh, you, you have to go through this process to make sure it's right. And again, if it wasn't right, so some of you guys are like, how did she figure it out? Why is there those, uh, how, do, how would I know it's 37? I'm, I've been experiencing using this process, so process of elimination. Um, and I didn't want to make the video a lot longer by purposely making a mistake. I told you my logic. But um, in this case right here, if I was wrong, I'd be playing with the numbers. Maybe I'd switch 3 and 7 around and multiply it out. Um, so just go ahead and try it. Um, let's try the next one and see maybe if you understood this one too. This one, again, uh, this one is a little more difficult because now I'm dealing with even more things because my first step is to factor A which is four, and unlike this, I have options. I can do two times two, or I can do four times one, right? And then my second step is negative four. So I'm gonna find factors of negative four. Let's say I go with, because this is a negative, I want um, one, I need a negative, uh, one positive, one negative number. So I can do negative two, positive two. I can do four positive, Oh, it's four negative one. I can do negative four one. I can do, oh no, two, yeah. So these are my options right here. So I'm gonna pick a set. Um, let's say I wanna do middle numbers. I don't wanna choose the high numbers, so let's try this, negative two and two, and then let's try um, two and two, right? I wanna avoid high numbers. So I'm gonna plug this in. This one, remember, goes in front, so 2x and 2x, and this one goes in the back, so um, negative 2, positive 2. Okay, and I'm going to multiply it out. So 2x, 2x plus 2, so this times the whole thing, and then negative 2 times the whole thing. Right? So I'm going to multiply this out. Again, how I got this, I took the first, this term here, multiplied by the whole thing, and the second term multiplied the whole thing. And now I'm going to multiply it out and combine like terms. And I'm, this is the answer I'm looking for. So here is my first one. So 4x squared. So far, so good. Okay, 2 times 2 is plus 4x. Then negative 2 times 2x. Sorry. Negative 2 times 2x is... negative 4x, and then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So I have 4x squared, okay, 4 minus 4, already I know this is wrong because this cancels out, right? That's 0, so negative 4, so that's not what I'm looking for. So before I um, erase this, I know it's wrong, but before I erase it, let me analyze it. I need to make sure that these don't cancel out, so I can't have the same number here and here. So, right, because the same number with opposite signs, negative two and positive two, will give me a positive four the first time and then a negative two, a negative four the next time. So what I want to do is now change it to, let's try, this doesn't work, I'm gonna cancel that out. Um, I need a big negative, I need a small negative number here. So maybe, let's try negative four. Positive four, negative one. I don't know if I wanna change the front numbers. Um, let's just see what this gives us first. Let's just see what this gives us first before we change the front numbers. Okay, so let's try it again. 2x, okay, the first term times the whole thing, 2x minus 1, and then positive 4 times 2 
times the whole thing, 2x minus 1. All right? So let's go from there. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Positive 4x times 2x is positive 8x. And then, so right here I can stop myself, right? 4 to negative 1 um, is negative 4. Without even trying to figure out the combined like terms, I know that these are going to be combined. My last and first number, and when I combine this, it gives me a negative 6. So it's not yet, okay? It's not reaching yet. So that means that I want, and I know this is frustrating, but the other methods have you doing, I mean, the, the, the one that your book is saying is to create a long chart. Uh, which you're doing unnecessary work. So let's try now, because we, we're looking for a big number. We're looking for negative 15x. So let, I should have changed, I should have changed the front numbers too. So I know this is not working. Okay, so let me try four and one. Let me try positive four and no. Let's see where that goes. Okay, so 4x times x minus 1, and then positive 4 times x minus 1. So let's see how this goes. This is 4x squared. This is negative 4x. This is, oh, this is not right because they're canceling out. Right, because I have negative 4x, and then I have a positive 4x, which then those end up canceling out. That's not right. So, let's see what else we can change here. Let's put, let's change these, let's switch these numbers around. So, 1 and then positive 4. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, no, no, this has to be negative, so let's make this number negative. Okay, this is all sorts of... So we're dealing with 4x plus 1 and x minus 4. Right? Okay, so 4x times x minus 4, and then 4x, sorry, and then positive 1 times x minus 4. All right, so here is 4x squared. This is 4 times negative 4 is negative 16x. Ah, I think we got it. And then positive 1x, and then minus 4. 4x squared minus 5, oh. Negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15x minus 4. That's it. Oh, no, this is not our answer. We are checking it. This is our answer. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so sorry about that, but that is the whole guess and check process. Page 482, numbers 20. 482, numbers 20. And um, go ahead and write this down, and I will see you in class.